Hey, everybody. And welcome to Fearsome Reactions. If y'all are new here, Mama Dawn. Danny. My beautiful daughter. If you've been here before, welcome back. Before we jump into the movie, just want to remind y'all, if you have not yet subscribed, um, please do us a favor and hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to at least 10,000 in the next uh, couple months. So that will really help us gals out. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't yet, um, definitely check us out over on Patreon. We've got a lot of good stuff going on over there. And our latest full exclusive... Uh, was brainstorm so definitely give that a check uh, check so with that um what is tonight's feature film tonight's film is field of dreams from 1989 this was when we were doing polls um this was one of our poll winners mm -hmm. um what do you know about this one it's kevin costner james Earl jones ray Liotta, and i know it's a baseball movie and i also saw the premise so i mean when you pulled up Prime. All right, so you you got the gist. But before that, I knew it was a baseball movie. Movie, and I think I've seen bits and pieces, never the whole thing. I've never. And I knew it had Kevin Costner. I knew it was a baseball movie, um, but that's about all my that's my limited knowledge. I don't, to I don't think outside these last couple of years I heard of this movie. Oh, okay. Or I've seen it. I've okay. never seen it. So okay. Well, then I guess with that, um, without further ado, let's hop into it. All right, y'all, enjoy. He played in the minors for a year or two, but nothing ever came of it. My name's Ray Kinsella. Mom died when I was three, and I Aww. suppose Dad did the best he could. Instead of Mother Goose, I was put to bed at night to stories of Babe Ruth, <laughs> Lou Gehrig, and the great shoeless Joe Jackson. And I met Annie. The only thing we had in common was that she came from Iowa, and I had once heard of Iowa. <laughs> and I got him. married in June of 74. Dad died that fall. I'm 36 years old. I love my family. I love baseball. Well, she talked you I'm into it. I'm about to become a farmer. If you build this, it will come. Is that what I said? Yeah. Who's talking to him? God? If you build it, it will come. Who's going to call him? I think I was losing my mind. I know. <laughs> hey, Annie! I'd be running back to the house real Annie, fast. what was that? <laughs> I didn't hear a voice. We didn't hear anything. What did it say? You build it, he will come. If you build what, who will come? He didn't say. Down along the Harvey. street, and I, I heard this voice. Uh, I, I turned around. And here was this big six it's so nice to be able to put these movies time. now, you know, recognize mm -hmm. them. Um, excuse you. Hey. Why'd you do that? It was funny. Well, it's just I've heard that sometimes farmers out in the field, they, they hear things. You know, voices? You hearing voices? Who's hearing voices? Ray is. Not in the field. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, mm. <laughs> Noises. You know, darn tractor. Uh, I think Costner has good hair. Mm-hmm. All right, that's it. Huh? Who the? The baseball. Hmm. I would think I was losing the mind if you like. Heck yeah. I know what if you build it, he will come means. Ooh, why do I not think this is such a good thing? I think it means that if I build a baseball field out there, that shoeless Joe Jackson will get to come back and play ball again. Are you actually thinking of doing this? Crazy. Yes. <laughs> but I also think if you really feel you should do this. Oh. Should do it. What a supportive wife. Mm -hmm. What the hell is he doing? Oh. <laughs> He's bound under his horn. Why? Because he'd bought a new pair of spikes and they hurt his feet. So about the sixth inning, he took them off and played the rest of the game in just a socks. <laughs> the other players kidded him uh. and called him Shoeless Joe. Suspended eight of the players, including the great Shoeless Joe Jackson for life. 
I have just created something totally illogical. That's what I like about it. Am I completely nuts? Hmm? Not completely. <laughs> it's a good baseball I love, field, right? I love, it's a good job. But he built it, so where are they? I got to experience like snow, snow. Someday. We used up all our savings on that field, Ray. Daddy, there's a man out there in your lawn. Oh, okay. Is it Shoeless Joe? Well, it's good now that Put they some coffee. Why don't you go on outside? They can see him now. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess before it was just they couldn't yeah. hear him, right? Yeah. But now he doesn't look crazy. Yeah. Is Shoeless Joe wondering what the heck he's doing there? <laughs> he looks confused. I love baseball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Well. <laughs> huh. It's like, come on, man. Get some out there. Joe Jackson. I mean, that would be strange, so you're dead and then you're back to feeling, like, earthly. Getting thrown out of baseball? It was like having part of me amputated. I've heard that old men wake up and scratch itchy legs that have been dust for over 50 years. Those are some good hits. See if you can hit my curve. Oh, oh God. Oh. Home run. Traveling on the trains from town to town. A baseball glove has a distinct mm -hmm. smell to it. Brass platoons in the lobbies, brass yeah. beds in the rooms. It's got pretty eyes. Yeah. Oh, hands on. Uh huh. It's my family. He can't step foot off the. <gasps> uh, Mr. Jackson, this is my wife, that's Annie. That's crazy. And my daughter, Karen. Ma'am? Are you a ghost? <laughs> Karen? <laughs> Just kidding. It's okay. What do you think? You look real to me. Well, then I guess I'm real. Can I come back again? Yeah. I built this for you. There are others, you know. There were eight of us. You really mean a lot to them. Yeah. Anytime. That's nice. Hey! Is this heaven? No. It's Iowa. <laughs> Gonna go into the cornfield? I mean, that's where he heard the voice from. True. We're keeping this field. <laughs> Bet your ass we are. Yeah. Come on, Ray, Ray, Ray. The stupid baseball field's gonna bankrupt you. Everybody knows it. Well, look, all I'm saying is if you wait till you default on your loan, you're gonna lose everything. If you sell now, my partners will give you more than fair price. You can walk away with a Thanks, nest Mark. egg, Ray. Thanks, Mark, but no. No. Okay. Never liked Iowa. That's not you know, true. Come on. That's not true. You've never That's liked farming. No. Well, then how could you plow under your major crop? What's a crop? <laughs> Excuse us. Excuse us. 
Annie, I don't believe this guy. I mean, I'm trying to bail him out, and he goes off to watch television. <laughs> that that is not be so normal. Yeah. He brought his friends. That must be real crazy if you're dead, and then you can feel the the grounds. <laughs> Do you think it's because when they were the most like successful, that's why they can't step off the? Or like that was their thing, baseball. Maybe. So they just can't watch step Joe, off the field. Watch his Maybe. Angle the bat. That's where the ball's gonna be. Hit. <laughs> Show off! You guys want to play ball or what? Come on, asshole! Pitch! Weaver. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, kid! <laughs> I don't mind. I think you were going to watch some game. Because it's not really a game, it's more like a practice. Do they not see anything? Rusty. See, there's only eight of them, so they can't play a real game. Only the three of them can see it? Ooh, I see guess that? so. Well, you don't see him? Do you see the baseball man right now? Of course I do. Oh no, oh no. They're gonna think they're crazy. I think it's very polite to try to make other people feel stupid. You see these people? It's not funny, Annie. <laughs> well, you got sticks up your butts. They couldn't see it. Here, since I wore this uniform, it still fits me like a glove. <laughs> <laughs> you must keep in pretty good shape. Uh, well, let's see, I died in 70. That means I haven't had a cigarette in, what, 18 years? <laughs> uh, well. You don't smoke, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why it's just them three. Well, I mean, at first it was just him hearing. Now the three can see. See, you guys. Eventually, is everyone going to be able to see them? I'm melting! I'm melting! <laughs> what do you say? Ease his pain. pain. What? What the, hell, what the hell does that mean? Ease his pain. What pain? He says pain. Right? Who's pain? Who's the one? Then it's not Ray Liotta that's whispering Thanks at him. a lot. I thought it was Ray Liotta whispering, but it's not, I don't think. No, I don't think so. Voice is bad. Oh, Lord. You don't have to build a football field now, do you? <laughs> he said, ease his pain. Ease whose pain? I asked him. He wouldn't tell me. I, I say smut and, and filth like, like this has, has no, no place, place in our, our school. I like this her pain. Mrs. <laughs> I love her. Kessinick. The that book you're waving about is hardly smut. It is considered by many critics to be the classic novel about the 1960s. Its author, Mr. Mann, is widely regarded as the finest satirist of his time. Yeah, well, I think he's a pervert. He's probably a communist, too. What planet are these people from? You, you, you know why he stopped writing books? Because he masturbates. Oh, my gosh. Even this guy's Excuse like... Me, madam. Terence Mann was a warm and gentle voice of reason during a time of great madness. We wish he had written some more. And I think if you had experienced even a little bit of the 60s... I experienced the 60s? No, I, gonna I say. think you had two 50s and moved right on into the 70s. <laughs> well, your husband plowed under his corn and built a baseball field. The weirdo. I like At her least, so much. He is not a book burner, you Nazi cow. <laughs> At least I'm not married to the biggest horse's ass in three counties. All right, Beulah, do you want to step outside? Fine! Oh, I think she's going to kick your butt. What? We got to go. We got to go. <laughs> this is great! <laughs> <laughs> well, what's his pain? I don't know. Well, how are you supposed to ease it? I don't it? know. Ray! Mm -hmm. Look, he's my favorite writer, too. But what's Terrence Mann got to do with baseball? Listen to this. As a child, my earliest recurring dream was to play at Ebbets Field with Jackie Robinson and the Brooklyn Dodgers. Of course, it never happened, and the Dodgers left Brooklyn and they tore down Ebbets Field. But even now, I still dream that dream. Yes. I mean, the guy hasn't been to a live baseball game since 1958. So, in order to ease his pain, you're supposed to take him to a ball game. 
Yes. I'm going to have to nip this one in the bud. We are having moderate to heavy financial difficulties here, and you can't take off for Boston while we're going broke in Iowa. You've done it. Look, you believed in the magic. It happened. Isn't that enough? Something's going to happen to the game. I don't know what, but there's something at Fenway Park, and I got to be there with Terrence Mann to find it out. Is Fenway the one with the big green wall in left field? Yeah. I dreamt last night you were oh. at Fenway with Terrence Mann. <gasps> what? Was I sitting on the first base side? Yes. About halfway up on the aisle? Yeah, you were keeping score on the I was eating a hot, hot dog. dog. <gasps> I had the same drink. Hi, I'm Ray Kinsella. Hi. No. Hi. Hi, I'm Ray Kinsella. It's a great pleasure to finally get to put your hands up and get in the trunk. <laughs> Sir, my name is Ray Kinsella. Well, I would do that probably. Like, I wouldn't have opened the door at all if I don't know you. Why am I blanking on his name? James Earl Jones. Oh, yeah. Duh. He's Darth Vader. I right, try again. We got a learning disability here. Mr. Man, if I could just have one minute, please. Look, I can't tell you the secret of life. And I don't have any answers for you. I don't give interviews. And I'm no longer a public figure. I just want to be left alone. So piss off. Oh. <laughs> and I wasn't gonna have to do it this way. What the hell is that? It's a gun. What do you think it is? No. It's your finger. <laughs> is that it's stupid? Yeah, let me see it. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just need you to come with me for a little while. Well, what, what are you doing? I'm gonna beat you with a crowbar. Oh my god. If you go away. Whoa, wait. Oh no. <laughs> oh, they're not really here. You're a pacifist! But I am the least crazy person I have ever known. Then why are you kidnapping me to a baseball game? It's a long story. But it's a really good story. And I'll tell you on the way. I'm not going to get rid of you, am I? No. If you just come to this game with me, I swear to God, I will never bother you again. We need to get to a, a game, an Astros game. Mm-hmm. I grew up watching the Twins. But uh. go the distance. Go the distance. You didn't see that? See what? Okay, so then he's not seeing. I thought he was seeing what maybe what he was seeing, but Hey heck no, I paid for a ticket. I'm staying the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't leaving. What is it you're not telling me? I've already taken up too much of your time. You got another message, didn't you? You think I'm crazy. I already think you're crazy. <laughs> what did it say? It said the man's done enough. <gasps> Moonlight Graham. You saw it. So what? It's all right to admit it. It's what told me to find you. Did you did you hear it? Go the distance. It means we're going to Minnesota to find Moonlight Graham. We're looking for an ex-baseball player named Archibald Graham. Oh, you mean Doc Graham? No, I think his nickname was Moonlight. Well, that's Doc Graham. Graham is dead. Oh. He died in 1972. Yeah? Ah! Umbrella guy. Dr. Graham? Is he just, like, teleporting around or what here? No one's called me Moonlight Graham in 50 years. Well, I've come a very long way to see you. You know, I couldn't sleep tonight. Usually I sleep like a baby. I ask you a question. What's so interesting about a half an inning that would make you come all the way from Iowa to talk to me about it 50 years after it happened? I think it's to ask you if you could do anything you wanted. If you could have a, a wish. I, I never got to bat in the major leagues. I'd have liked to have that chance, just once. To stare down a big league pitcher. To stare him down, and just as he goes into his wind-up, wink. Make him think you know something he does. That's my wish, we can say. Sir, there's a place where things like that happen, and if you want to go, I can take you. I can't be just... I, I understand. I, I do. But I, I really think you're supposed to come with us. Go with him. 
And then I figured, maybe we're not supposed to take them with us. I don't know. So now I don't know why in the hell we were supposed to come here. Maybe. Just to find out if one alien can change the world. I talked to the bank, and I asked them if we could miss a payment or two. And they told me that they had just sold the note on the farm to Mark. Oh, the brother. His partners. Ray, we don't have the money. Okay, look, um, I've got to take Mr. Mann back to Boston first, all right? So it's, uh... No. Wait a second. I'm going to die we're with you. Thanks. You're the first car by. How far are you going? How far are you going? Iowa. Well, if it's okay with you, I think I'll just ride along a while. I play baseball. Uh, Hop in. Uh, so are people going to start coming to see it, and then that's where we'll save the play. farm? Maybe. I heard that all through the Midwest, they have towns with teams. And in some places, well, they'll even find you a day job so you can play ball nights and weekends. Well, this is your lucky day, kid. We're going someplace kind of like that. I'm Archie Graham. Wait. Huh. The time I was 10 playing baseball, I got to be like eating vegetables or taking out the garbage. <laughs> so when I was 14, I started to refuse. That's when I read The Boat Rocker by Terrence Mann. Oh, God. <laughs> nah. I played catch with him again. So everything kind of comes full circle here. When I was 17, I packed my thing, said something awful, and left. Made it back to the funeral. <laughs> this is Terrence Mann. Terry. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, Terry. And this young fella is, this is Archie Graham. Archie? He's coming to practice with the team. Yeah, well, he's going to be able to do a lot more than that. There's more of them, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Oh, my. Oh, they're two different teams because some are wearing. I don't know. Welcome back. Thanks, Joe. Oh my God. Terry, <laughs> I'd like you to meet Shoeless Joe Jackson. Joe, Terry Mann. Nah. <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. The pleasure's mine. Ray, I hope you don't mind, but we got tired of just having practices, so we brought another team out with us so we could have some real games. That's awesome. I don't mind. The tight cob wanted to play. None of us could stand a son of a bitch when we were alive, so we told him to stick it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go warm up. Yes, sir. Rookies. How'd he know because he didn't mean. get introduced to him? It's more than that. It's perfect. But now, when it's is everybody... It's almost like a younger... The guy who passed in 72. Oh, yeah. That guy looks familiar. The pitcher. Oh! Hey, hey! Don't let him shake you up, Bart. Hang in there, buddy. Hey, Knuckles, what do you throw at the kid for? He winked at me. So what do you think the next one's going to be? Well, well, either loan away or in my ear. He's not going to want to load the bases, so look for low and away. Right. But watch out for in your ear. Yeah, yeah. That's deep enough. Tag it up! Hey! <laughs> That's so cute. Second time he's waving by yourself. He got his wish. Yeah. That's so. I think this is gonna make me emotional as this goes on. Hi. <laughs> no, it's just piss ant again. <laughs> interrupting the game, Mark. Who is real? Shoeless Joe Jackson, the White Sox, all of them. You mean? No, I can't. Can't see any of it. As a matter of fact, it's Terrence Mann. <laughs> right. How do you do? I'm the Easter Bunny. Ray, listen. We need to I'm sell this selling. thing, right? Ray, you have Look, no I'm not money. selling Ray, you Ray, my Ray, home. Ray, you have no money. Who's to sell the farm? 
Your poo poo comes. She's on to something. You're not seriously listening to this, are you? We got no choice. People will come, Ray. Mm -hmm. They'll come to Iowa for reasons they can't even fathom. They turn up your driveway, not knowing for sure why they're doing it. Of course, we won't mind if you look around, you'll say. It's only $20 per person. People will come, Ray. You're broke, Ray. Don't you sell to now or you lose Miss everything. Listen to this guy. Listen Ray. to Terry and your daughter. Listen to you James Earl everything. Jones and this guy. Hmm. You will be evicted. I pick James Earl Jones. Yes. You build a baseball field in the middle of nowhere, and you sit here and you stare at nothing. Daughter, into a damn space Get your case. hands off. I'm trying to help you, damn it. <gasps> nice uncle. Nice uncle you are. Mm -hmm. Is she all right? Sure. Is she breathing? Should I get the car? I got goosebumps. He knows what to do. <sighs> oh, that's right. Just wait. Can't, can't step on it. Oh, then they turn into the, the... Oh, okay, okay. Okay, now he sees them. This child's choking to death. Yeah, right. Hot dog. Stuck <laughs> in her throat. Oh, she'll be all right. She'll be turning handsprings before you know it. Thank you, Doc. No, son. Thank you. I best be getting on home. Before Alicia begins to think I got a girlfriend. So Wouldn't work for me one day, will you, boy? When did these ball players get here? Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> How does it all of a sudden, like, boom, you can hey, see rookie. it? You know, that's what... You were good. Aww. Aww. You gotta keep this farm. <laughs> well, duh. Mark, you've had a very rough day once. Go inside and get something cold to drink. <laughs> yeah. Ray? We're gonna call it a day. See you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Hey, do you want to come with us? You mean it? No, not you. Uh. Him. Go on, Terry. Him. Come with you? Out there. What is out there? Come to find out. You have a family. I know, but I want to know what's out there. I want to see it. But you're not invited. <laughs> not invited. What do you mean I'm not invited? That's my corn out there. You guys are guests in my corn. Is that why you did this? For you? There was a reason they chose me, just as there was a reason they chose you in this field. Why? I gave that interview. What are you talking about? The one about Ebbets Field, one that charged you up and sent you all the way to Boston to find me. You lied to me. Well, you were kidnapping me at the time, you big jerk. Well, you lied to me. <laughs> you said your finger was a gun. <laughs> there is something out there, Ray. And if I had the courage to go through with this, what a story it'll make. Shoeless Joe Jackson comes to Iowa. Are you going to write about it? What? You better write about it. You're going to write about it. Uh -huh. Good. Good. I want a full description. Take care of this family. <laughs> it's all giddy. <laughs> <laughs> What are you grinning at, you ghost? If you build it... They will come. He will come. He will come. His dad? Maybe. Oh, jeez, don't do this to me. Oh, my God. What? What is it? It's my father. Oh, my gosh. He gets to make, like, 
ease his pain. Oh. I can't stop staring at Ray Liotta's eyes. They're beautiful. Hi. I'm John Kinsella. I'm Ray. Not gonna say it's your dad? This is John. Hi, John. Hiya, Karen. Is, is this heaven? It's Iowa. Iowa could be somebody's heaven. Heaven on Earth. dreams come true. <laughs> Maybe this is heaven. Okay. You're not going to tell him you're his son? Dad? <gasps> Let me turn around. You want to have a catch? Oh. <laughs> I'd like that. I think he knew he was just waiting. Let's say that. Got a second chance to make it right. I know this movie was based off of it's gonna make me cry. Feel the dreams from 1989. What'd you think? I did not know this baseball movie was gonna make me cry at the end. Like, oh my gosh, she got ah, oh. it was too good. There were so many times throughout this movie, like past the halfway mark, where I got goosebumps on my legs and arms. This was so beautiful. Like, Doc got a chance to prove himself. Um, you know. Terry got to... He got... I mean, essentially, he helped people get their wish. Yeah. Well, that's what he wanted. Remember, mm -hmm. he said he wanted his wish. And he got... Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And all those little whisper. I wonder who was, like, whispering. Like, it's just the above. Somebody above was whispering these little things to him. This, to me, is a 10. 100%. If this movie can make me cry like this, this is a 10. This is a 10. And the thing is, like, his whole thing was... Um, also, like, with his dad, like... He, he got to make peace at the end. Because he didn't say... What did he say he said at the end? Like, oh, I can't respect somebody who respects a criminal. Or something like that. And then he was like, well, he wasn't a criminal. Right. And then he got to help him, the baseball player. Yes. And then, and then he helped his dad. Yes. Yes. And if anyone has lost a parent at... You know, in those teenage years, and you know you say stuff to your parents that you don't mean. But if you've lost a parent and not been able to make it right, this hits you extra hard. Um, because you do you do feel guilty. I mean, lost my mom at s almost 16. So, you know, you just, uh, yeah, it hits you extra hard, right? Everything in a way oh. came full circle, like when they couldn't step off the field. Yes. And he turned back to the old guy, and then he just he yeah. disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and then that whole scene, I kind of wondered why the whole, like, scene about the book was such a, was in there. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, obviously made sense because Terry was the author of that book. And then he didn't want to write anymore because he was so, like, angry at, like, everybody, right? Yeah. For asking, and then this motivated him to want to write again. Yeah. Yeah. So then he got to, he, 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 yeah, yeah, he was invited to go back, like he said. <laughs> Ray was not invited. Um, yeah, I was wondering, like, the stepping off the field. Yeah, I'm glad that that came to light. And just so interesting how, like, the, uh, at first it was just Ray could hear. Then all of a sudden it was the daughter. And I think it was mostly wife. people who were connected to... 
like whatever was needed to be fixed. Yeah, so, you know what I mean in a way, like yeah, and with his dad, and then his dad was connected to the baseball player, right? And Terry was connected to the book, right? It's the uncle who was mm-hmm. trying to get him to sell. And then it's like, after that happened with the daughter, and then it's like, oh, where did they come from? Like, all of a sudden, then you can see them, and it's like, I wonder why? I guess it was just a divine mm-hmm. thing, right, that happened. Because the daughter, I mean, and the daughter just knowing what was going to happen, just like mm-hmm. Terry knowing what could happen, and Terry seeing those things. I guess it was just some, some kind of divine, I don't and know, unexplainable, just, like, kind of, were, right? I said at the beginning, it was just, it's interesting that they go, they're dead, but it was like, he was looking around the field like it must have been like be like a like not confused when I said confused but I didn't mean confused like he looked like bewildered like wow like you're back on right earth right right they were all just kind of like wait a minute right mm-hmm. um and kind of in a, in a way, I mean you get it because yeah obviously they were dead and they just got to like relive their mm-hmm. dream right and then um as soon as dad came back, it's like, so I must, I mean, he did, didn't he sell C to I don't know. So I'm, I'm assuming they show up to play mm-hmm. and everybody can see them, right? And then they obviously made their money and, and mm-hmm. kept their farm or whatever. But such an interesting concept mm-hmm. for a movie. I really liked this movie. Yeah, this was like top not like now this. I see why on Prime it has five out of five stars. Oh, yeah. This, and it didn't, like, it didn't. Lonely. There was no lull. There mm-hmm. was no, like, parts that were like, why is this in here? This isn't necessary. It was just... And at first, I had forgot what Doc's name was, and I didn't put him together as being Archie. Because I remember he was like... And then he was going back and saying, oh, well, that happened in the 20s when they would take it off. Right, like, right. And then it was just his younger self, because remember he was like, oh, like, it, like you would wink at the player, and then they would know what you're talking about, and that's what he did. Right. And he's like, well, why are you winking at me? It's the old guy. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. I just, oh my gosh. Uh, I was going to say, if you haven't seen it, watch it. But I'm assuming you're not going to watch our reaction unless you've seen the movie. But wow. And this one I could watch again. Mm-hmm. 100%. Like, I mean, good, great cast. This wife, I think I've seen her in other stuff, but I can't pinpoint right now. She had me laughing. I I'm liked so her glad so much. it wasn't one of those where it was like, oh, like the whole time, like she's thinking like, oh, you're crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. She totally was like, oh, you're a little bit crazy, but I support you and let's go for it or whatever, you know? And then even though her family was just like, you know, like left and was like, this is so weird. And she was just like, no, no, it, it, you know, mm-hmm. like she supported him. She didn't like poo poo what was going on, yeah. you know? And I'm glad, it, I mean, in a way, I'm glad it didn't lull too much in the, oh, the farm, the farm is... Yeah. Sell, you know what I mean? It was just kind of like that scene where they were there trying to like sell off the farm mm-hmm. and then at the end where he was, gave him the paperwork right to decide. Mm-hmm. So wonderful movie. Wonderful, wonderful movie. Um, I don't know what else to say on this one. Just, I don't know. It was too good. It was just so good. I just did not expect this baseball movie to make me cry. This is the third baseball movie we've seen. Major League 1 and 2 and um, A League of Their Own. So this is 4. So this is our fourth. And that's mm-hmm. it. That's it for baseball, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I love baseball so much, but um, I, yeah, I, the, the crying. I didn't expect to cry. No. It just hit me. And I looked over at you and I saw a tear and I'm like, oh, it got her. It got her. It got me. It got her. Um, anything else? No, that's it. All right. Well, if you guys like what you're seeing, please, um, of course, subscribe. Mm-hmm. Hit the like. Hit the notification bell. Um leave you know your fun facts and comment below and you guys love this movie as much as we do um yeah so um with that as i always say be kind the world needs a whole lot more of it it's a wrap see you at the next reaction y'all bye